Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telerik Test Studio. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can add wait step using Test Studio so that we can perform tests which are related to asynchronous or AJAX calls. We are also going to check out how and why we should calibrate browsers with Test Studio so that it gets easier for Test Studio to perform tests. Test Studio by default waits for 15 seconds for elements to get loaded before it fails the test if it does not find that element. Sometimes we could have elements, components on our page which might not get loaded for 15 seconds. In that case, Test Studio will fail tests for us. But we could add wait steps in our test so that Test Studio will wait for that component to get loaded before it can execute the next step. For this demo, I'm going to drop this value to three seconds so that I can explain how this exactly works. I want to check if this grid view is getting loaded or not on our author's page. But this grid view takes six seconds to get loaded on the page and we have configured our test studio to wait only for three seconds. Let's try and record a test and see if it works or not. For that, I've created a test which is currently empty. I'm going to right click on it and record a test. It's waiting for that grid view to get loaded. I'm going to select this highlighting option and hover over this grid view and add a quick step which is going to check if this grid view has 19 items or not. I'm going to close the browser to stop recording. Now let's go ahead and run this test and see if it works or not. For that, I'm going to right click on the test and run test. It will open my browser and it will only wait for three seconds before it can execute the next step. Our grid view is getting loaded after six seconds. So it's going to fail our test because it did not wait for that grid view to get loaded because we have configured our test studio to wait only for three seconds. But we can add wait step to wait for this grid view to get loaded so that it can execute the step and pass our test. I'm going to select all these steps and delete them. And now let's record our test, but this time we are going to add a wait step. I'm going to wait for this grid view to get loaded. Now this time, before I can check if there are 19 items in this grid view or not, I'm going to first check if this element is existing on the page or not. Once I add that step, then I'm going to check if this grid view has 19 items in it or not. I'm going to close the browser and you can see that it added a wait step before it's checking if grid view has 19 items in it or not. Now let's go ahead and run this test to see if it's working or not. This time, Test Studio will wait for that grid view to get loaded before it can check if it has 19 items in it or not. Now you can see that our test is passing because we asked Test Studio to wait for some time before that grid view is getting loaded. And you can configure that timeout in its properties. I'm going to select this step and go to property window. And you can select the timeout amount from here. Currently it's 30 seconds, but you can increase depending on how long your grid view is taking to load on the page. So this is how you can add wait step to wait for components before they get loaded so that your tests are not failing from your test studio. Calibrating the browser for Test Studio means applying some settings to your browser so that your Test Studio can 
run and record tests on that browser seamlessly. Those settings involve applying zoom level to 100%, enabling file downloads, disabling pop-up blockers, allowing that site to run JavaScript, opening PDF files externally. You can calibrate your browser either while recording the test. It will ask you to calibrate the browser while recording it. I have already calibrated Chrome browser. That's why it's not showing that option. You can do that from this toolbar too. It'll list down the browsers installed on your machine. I have already calibrated Chrome browser. If I want to calibrate Firefox, I can click on this calibrate button and it'll calibrate my Firefox browser so that I can run and record tests from Test Studio seamlessly. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on Twitter or you can send me an email at qhstribe at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.